Yo, welcome back to another devlog. So in the last episode, I already teased that I basically made NPC smooth. And the next logical thing for me to do was to basically implement a sort of AI to give the NPCs a daily routine. So the first thing that I then did was searching for a path algorithm or a pathfinding algorithm because you don't have to reinvent the wheel. And I found this ASTAR pathfinding project, which is completely free to use. Of course, there's a paid version, but there's also a free to use version, which has less features, but completely enough for my purpose. I will drop this link in the description. I personally like the documentation and the code so far uh, is relatively simple to understand. So with this yoinked code, I then was able to start adding pathfinding to my project. And the first thing that you basically have to do is you have to set a sort of grid for the or a pathfinding graph for the algorithm to basically be able to calculate a new path so what i did is i decided to go with a um, grid graph and you can define some obstacles that the in this case the grid graph is going to um, identify and will uh, take into account when generating a path so i don't want to bore you too much with this but if i click on scan you can see that i have set the size of the grid to a width of 95 and a height for this scenery of 25 and i have set my obstacles or an obstacle layer mask to the tag obstacle and all of my objects that basically have a collider are and all of the objects that basically have a collider that the player is not able to walk through have the tag obstacle so it's for example the trees the bushes the house and the fence and so you can see that the automatically generated grid now takes into account that th these are not walkable nodes in the algorithm so whenever you then go ahead and let the algorithm generate a path it will take these into account and not use or let's say you start here he will and you want him to go here he will probably either try to go around this way or try to go through here in the next step i then decided to just play around a little bit with the algorithm and i set some destinations in the scene that the npc that is going to spawn in the scenery um, is basically going to try to walk from let's say this destination towards to this destination and then he's going to walk towards this destination and maybe then to this one so basically he should walk in this direction and then back again so i applied the pathfinding to my npc and also modified it additionally i added some code to give the npc a new destination once he reaches the old one and obviously everything worked fine problem right here is not the pathfinding itself the pathfinding actually is working pretty neat the problem itself was applying the right animation to the npc whenever he goes into a new direction so as always the problem was sitting in front of the computer and not inside the code or not in the yoinked pathfinding project so after playing around a little bit more with the algorithm itself I started to implement a system to generate and apply tasks to NPCs. So for example, the shop owner over here, he is supposed to start, let's say, or come out of his shop at, let's say, 7 or 8 in the morning. And then he is supposed to go and water the crops. So this is what he is doing right now. He spawned in front of the shop, went to his idle position, and now he is going to walk towards the crops and water them. Obviously, the animations are not on point yet but the system itself is working. So he spawned, he came out and stand on his idle position. Now he's going to water the crops. I still need to sort the list uh, in which I store the references to all of the crops because you can see that he now is just going up and down, which is fine, I guess, but I would like for him to start in the top left corner and then basically go in this direction and uh, I just have to code a proper sorting algorithm for that which is not going to be too troublesome. Additionally I have started to set up a structure for the schedules of my NPCs and I decided to go with a JSON structure. So JSON is a JavaScript object notation which is pretty nice. So you have keys and then you have values. So for example this is the current JSON file for my NPC Peter which is the npc that i've just shown and i basically have a an array of schedules 
and in here I have objects and this applies on spring um, and then I have my routines at 7 a.m. He is going to go to the scene crossroads uh, and here we have a destination that he needs to go to and then we have the tasks that he needs to do when as soon as he reaches this destination and if the task for example is standing I then have a look direction so one is for looking downwards and one uh, zero is for looking downwards and one is for example to look upwards and this approach is going to allow me to relatively simple uh, edit and modify and also add tasks and daily routines to my npcs maybe in this video it looks super easy to add and implement all of these features but it actually wasn't the A star pathfinding algorithm is pretty neat and the documentation is nice, but you have to really put some time into it to fully understand it and to be able to work with it properly. And you can still see that as I've already said that it's not working perfectly yet, but uh, it's a start. And next up, I want to actually add the option to work with the JSON file or with the, the objects that I've showed in the JSON file to fully automate the process of the tasks being applied to NPCs so that I then can use it to apply these types of tasks also to my blacksmith. But this is going to be something that I will do in probably then or showcase in hopefully the next devlog if I manage to get everything done till next week. So that's everything for now. Um, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit like and subscribe. Um, maybe follow my Twitter and uh, have a good one. See you next week. Bye bye.